But Ted Dilly, uh, as far as I can remember, beat me a lot more times than I beat him. He was just overall a better runner most of our high school career. And uh, I think in middle school, uh, I was beating uh, Glenn Lamnick, and then freshman year, I was still beating him. And then, like, halfway through my freshman year, and then, like, the rest of high school, he would always we would kind of go back and forth, but he would do last uh, three years of high school, he, even, uh, he was a, a little bit better runner than me. And then, and then the other guy, the third guy, my senior year cross country when I became ineligible with four meets to go was Adam Walters, the, the best uh, runner our senior year in the Mid-State League, and uh, he ended up going to run for Miami. No, not Miami, my bad, Otterbein. It was Abby Reeser went to run for Miami. Yeah, Adam went to run for Otterbein and he did uh he he was a pretty decent college runner. But yeah, shout out to Adam Walters and Glenn Lamnick and Ted Dilly, you guys kicked my ass in running. Um but yeah, if if I would have <coughs> been eligible for the, uh, the the league meet, um, probably wouldn't be Adam, but I was pretty close. Uh, my times were pretty close with uh, Glenn and Ted, so I could have had a chance to to have gotten second place. And our team would have actually um, be Circleville. Usually, Circleville wins the Mid State League every year, or um, <clears throat> Canal Winchester. Usually, one of those two. And we could have, if I would have not been an, if I would have been ineligible, we would have uh, swept the Mid-State League that year. <clears throat> uh, shortly after the cross country was season over, I registered for the Junior Olympics and I ended up running a, and it, my t time kind of slipped because I. I was kind of down in the dumps when I found out I was ineligible, but and uh, a couple weeks went by, but I still like my best time uh, my senior year for the 5K was 17:12, but I, I ran the Junior Olympics and I ended up running 17:59, uh, so okay time. And then uh, they had a an open meet, which was kind of surprising, but it was held at Gro uh, Groveport High School which is literally right next door to Eastland Career Center where I was taking dental assisting. And my senior year, the guy that got um, like 13th place in state uh, was running this guy, uh, kind of, this guy, he was like 6'3 or 6'4, uh, like Kenyan or African guy. And, uh, they had this open race and uh, I ran it at the Groveport and I was really familiar because they held a, our, we ran our district meets on that course so when they had a you know open 5k race to the public there I had an advantage because I already knew, knew the layout and <clears throat> I had a lot of energy that day and I was really motivated to uh, try and beat this guy who finished high at state um, actually, you know what? I think he placed a lot higher than 13th. He might he might have been like fourth or third. Uh, I'll have to look I'll look that up later. Anyways, this guy was he was definitely a runner. He and he, he had an advantage like me because he was tall. But uh, I blew everyone out of the water um, right out from the start. I I was, I, I was just pissed off because uh, I missed out on the end of the cross country season and, and um, didn't do you know great at the Junior Olympics so I went out with legs a blazing and uh, ran the first mile in um, like five minutes <laughs> I like like flew through the first mile and then um so if I would have kept that pace, I would have freed for the next two miles. I would have ran a little over 15 minutes, but yeah, I ran ran the first mile in like five flat, 
and then the second mile I, I ran pretty fast too and then when the third mile hit my the uh, lactic acid and the, the cramps and the fatigue were kicking in and I was like way ahead of this uh, guy uh, from the state track meet and he started when I started uh, cramping up and uh, losing my energy and losing my breath and my legs were starting to burn he uh, he freaking he caught me with uh, like 150 meters to go he freaking caught me and passed me and then <clears throat> I tried to uh, out sprint him but he was a decent sprinter so he uh, out and I didn't he had more of a kick left so he out kicked me and uh, I finished like right behind him so and then his uh, his coach his high school coach uh, brought him to that open race and this was just a, a, a literally just a few days after the state meet and he, his coach actually walked up and talked to me and, and he was like he's like why weren't you at the uh, the state race and you know I explained to him I was ineligible and he congratulated me and said I ran a really, a really good time and everything and that race I ran um, a 17.29 so fairly close to my personal high school best And I was, you know, pretty proud because it had been a couple of weeks since uh, we were out of school. And, you know, it was like district is a week after leagues and then regions is a week after state. Or regions is a week after district and then state is a, is a week after the regional race. And then we, you know, almost a week later, we ran this open race at Groveport High School to the public, and I'm surprised I still ran like 17:29. I was just really motivated, and my my stepdad <laughs> dropped me off for the race. Uh, you know, thanks uh, Bob for at least dropping me off, but he didn't stay and watch, and I uh, I wanted to give him something to be proud of when he came back, so when I got second place and almost won uh, I was uh, I'm sure he was proud of me a little bit <laughs> he wasn't he only I think he'd only yeah he don't out of my whole cross country and track career I only remember him going to one of my races and that was um, in eighth grade when I ran for Circleville Everett's middle school and it was at Adam Walters, uh, the best runner in the area, and Daniel Uds, uh was the second best guy on our team, and then I was the third best. And it, it, and then Bob uh, came and watched me, and he actually uh, t timed me with his uh, stopwatch, <clears throat> and uh, was right there along the fence at the finish line to see me finish. And um, so it, we went one, two, and three. Adam, Daniel, me, and we like we we uh, blew away all the teams in the mid state league. And I think uh, Carl Sawinski, y'all, he beat me m most of the year uh, by a lot. And I think he might have even had been beating Daniel also. And then he was almost as good as Adam. But all three of us uh, beat him. You know when it counted at the league race. So just reflecting on, you know, some old memories. And then the Junior Olympics um, goes by age limit. It doesn't go by your grade. So when I was a freshman in college, I ran uh, in the Junior Olympics again, and then I qualified for the, uh, the regional race.